YouTube channel. My name is Lydia. This is Nuki. Today's practice is a beautiful Dharma sequence. So for those of you who are familiar with the Dharma Yoga practice, it's usually a little longer, sometimes anywhere between 60 to 90 minutes to finish the whole sequence. So keep an eye out for other of my video classes that cover the longer sequences. But for today, I'm looking to kind of consolidate the key poses so that those of you who are in a little bit of a rush, still want a bit of dharma, love, um, you've only got about 30 minutes to spare, this is the perfect class for you. So let's come and meet on our mats. Take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Giving yourself some time to physically and mentally arrive for your practice. May this practice be part of your spiritual journey and your meditation. Take a moment to dedicate this practice to someone you love or someone that you know who may need some positive energy. Think of each of the postures as a gift and offer the practice. Releasing the hands, let's stand up to begin our mantra for purification. This mantra is said to purify our psychic channels and to clear a safe space around us for our practice. Om Mabavitra Hapavitra Va Sarva Vashtanga Tobi Va Yaha Smaritan Rikasham Sabaya Bihendraha Suchihi Let's start. Arms up, arching through the spine. Go forwards, Uttanasana. Bend the knees if you need to. Step right knee back, gazing up. Left foot back, plank pose. Lower down to your knees, take it into a child's pose. Come forwards for Bhujangasana, Cobra pose. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Step right foot forwards, knee down, gaze up. Left foot forwards, Uttanasana. Arms up, arching the back. Pranamasana, hands to the heart. Arms up, arch the back. Go forwards for Uttanasana. Step left knee back, gaze up. Right foot back, plank pose. Lower down to the knees, sit on your heels. Come forwards for Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Down Dog. Left foot forwards, knee down, gaze up. Step right foot forwards, Uttanasana. Arms up, arching the back. Pranamasana, hands to the heart. Arms up, arch the spine. Travel down, Uttanasana. Interlace the fingers, bend the knees, stomach and thighs resting together, maybe rocking from side to side. Feel the opening sensation of the deltoids, the chest. Pull the fist away from your back, and maybe bend and stretch the knees a couple of times. Coming up, place both hands down, step right knee back, untuck the toes. Bring your hands into Kali Mudra. Give your shoulders a bit of a shake. So your index finger is pointing up and the rest of the hands are interlaced. Reach the arms back and lift the chest. Both palms down, step it back to plank, chaturanga or knees, chest chin. Always a choice. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Step right foot forwards, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. 
Kali Mudra again as you rock shoulders from side to side, expand through the chest. Now reach the fingertips back and really start to lengthen through the entire spine. Breathe. Palms down, step forwards, Uttanasana. Arms up, arching the back. Pranamasana. Arms up, arch the spine. Go forwards, Uttanasana. Again, hands into a fist behind your back. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper this time. If you're flexible, straighten the legs. Breathe. Place the hands down, left knee back, untuck the toes. Kapinyasana again. Kali Mudra, fingertips back, maybe this time pulsing up and down into that right hip joint here. Reach back, lift the heart. Feel your spine lengthening. Palms down, step back to plank, Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot forwards, knee down, interlace the fingers, maybe pulsing up and down into that left hip joint. Now reach the fingertips back, take it a little deeper into the back bend. Both palms down, step back foot forwards, Uttanasana. Arms up, arching the spine. Bring the hands to the heart space. Arms up, arching the back. Go forwards, Uttanasana. Step back just a little bit now. Come into your Malasana, so your low squat. Make sure that your triceps are pressing out against the inner thighs and try and sink the glutes down. You can stay here, or for those of you wanting an arm balance, come up onto the tiptoes, knees into the armpits, lift one foot and the other. You're in your bakasana now. Breathing here, balance on the fingertips. Chaturanga, if you can, shoot the legs back, up dog to your downward facing dog. Everyone meets in a down dog. In Dharma, we are prioritizing not just our hamstrings, but definitely the spine. So maybe you want to pulse up and down here and think about drawing crown of the head down. Heels together and point the toes out to 10 and 1. Lift your left leg up to the sky. Option to stay as you are or walk the right hand back to hold on to your right heel from the inside. If you start to wobble, try and engage your left lat. Push into the floor and breathe. Right palm down, step left foot forwards, rising up into a warrior two. Soften through the shoulders here and breathe. Straighten the front leg, reach forwards and lower the left hand down wherever it manages to release. Look up to your right hand, Uddita Trikonasana. Extend a triangle pose. Look down. Now just bend the left knee and reach the right arm across. You're coming into your extended side angle pose. Bind if you have the bind. You can reach for the fingertips. If it's easy, go for your wrist. If that's easy, go for your forearms. Lean the right shoulder backwards. So you're opening up the chest. Release the pose, drop the right knee, shuffle the left foot back just a little bit. Right arm up to the sky, deep twist and try and twist, twist as much as you can, palms to the center of the chest and start to gaze up. Option one, you are here. Option two, if you would like to take the bind, release the right hand underneath and grab hold of the fingertips behind your back. Option three, tuck the back toes and release the right leg off the floor. 
Make sure you keep twisting and rotating as you gaze up towards the sky. Breathing in, release the hands, step back to plank, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Breathing here. If you need to bend the knees and extend, you're more than welcome to take a moment to lengthen through those hamstrings. Heels together, point the toes out. Right leg this time up to the sky, option to stay as you are or start to walk the left hand back to grab hold of the left heel from the inside. Push the floor away, one straight line of energy here. Hands down, step right foot forwards, coming up into Virabhadrasana B, Warrior 2. Breathing here, sinking a little bit deeper. Straighten up right leg, reach forwards and lower right hand down onto block or the mat and gaze up. Triangle pose, stretching through the inner thighs and the side body. Look down, bend the right knee your armpit should now be close to the kneecap. Reach the arms forwards. Option to stay here or also you can lower the right hand to the thigh or go for your bind. Remember if you're trying the bind, go really low. That's how you can sort of um, close down the gap here and reach for your fingertips. Hands down, coming into Paravrita Parashokanasana. Step the right foot back a little. This time, left arm up to the sky. Take that deep twist from the torso. Hands to the heart and gaze up. Remember your three options here. Bind, extend the leg with or without bind. Relax in each pose, everyone. Breathe. Palms down, plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Remember, if you need a child's pose, go there at any time. Let's make our way back to a down dog if you came down onto your knees. Step the right foot forwards outside of the right hand into lizard pose. Rock backwards and forwards, long with that back leg. You can lower down to the forearms if you would like, or just stay up on the palms of the hands. You can also lower the back knee if you prefer. And just take a moment here to enjoy the stretch. Rising up, come and sit back onto your back heel. Extend the right leg for Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Lower the chest down onto your thighs. Flexing the right toes. Bend into the right knee. Come back into lunge position. Reach your left hand back for the left foot and just pull the heel towards the glutes a couple of times. If you need to double mat to protect the knee, feel free to do so. You can take mudra at the front thumb and index connected with the right hand if this is easy. Right hand grabs hold of the foot and release your left hand behind you. Again, thumb and index finger connecting here. Break the pose now. Stepping back to downward facing dog. This time, left foot outside of the left hand for lizard pose. Take a few rocks, forwards, backwards. 
Maybe you are able to lower down onto the forearms. Maybe you want to drop the back knee down. Either way, be happy in any version of the posture. Come and shift the weight back. We're moving into half splits now. You can stay high or low. The most important is you're feeling a, a stretch in your left hamstring and keep flexing the toes up here, guys. Chest onto the left thigh. Bend the left knee. We're gonna come into your bind here, if possible. First, pulse, heel towards the glute to stretch the quad. You can stay here and start to release your left hand forwards, thumb and index finger connected. If it's easy, swap position, left hand holds onto the foot and right hand releases behind you for your Nyana Mudra. Break the pose and step it back to down dog. Lower down to the knees, come and sit back onto the heels, relax in child's pose. Cultivate a sense of awareness. Come back to that intention. From here, let's come to a seated position and then lie on your back, heels on the floor, we're gonna move through some back bends here. Slowly lift your lower, middle, upper back, chin to the chest, interlace your fingers. Really start to press down into the feet and engage your glutes, send the hips up. Of course, if you have your wheel pose and you're feeling ready, you're more than welcome to go there. Hug the knees into the chest and just take a few rocks from left to right. In your second back bend, you can repeat the same posture that we just did. Or now, maybe the back is a little bit warmer, let's come into Urva Danurasana wheel pose. Fingertips away, release crown of the head down, swap the position of the fingers to face the heels, and then straighten the arms up. This method is a very helpful way for beginners coming into wheel. If you know how to push up straight away, feel free to do that, guys. You can also rise up onto the tiptoes to get a little bit deeper here. When you're done, lower down onto the back. Again, knees into the chest and just take a few rocks from side to side. Breathe it out. Let's come and sit up now. Stretch the legs. We're going to fold into Pashimottanasana, arms up, and release the chest onto the thighs. Hands go wherever they can reach. Remember, Similar to that pose we were doing at the start, the standing version of your forward fold, concentrate on releasing the chest down to the top of the thighs. When you do this, you will avoid rounding through your lower back. Break the pose. Come and lie on your back. Just make sure nothing's behind you here. Let's roll all the way across, release the toes down to the mat. If the toes reach the mat, you can interlace your fingers and press into the earth. If the toes don't reach the mat, keep your hands supporting your back and just let your toes hover. Feel and concentrate on the space between your eyebrows. Place the hands on your back now. We're gonna come up into shoulder stand for your inversion. 
You can also take restorative version by placing a block underneath your lower back. To get a little bit more height, walk the elbows and the shoulders closer towards each other. Point the toes and just breathe here. Bend the knees, slowly return back into Halasana, that plow pose. You might find you're now able to go a little bit deeper. So see how you get on and just take a few more conscious breaths here. Release the hands down. Press into the mat, engage your core as you begin to release and come to lie flat on the mat. Yes, yes, engage the core as you lower down. Don't let this be easy. Once you're all the way down to the mat, take a deep breath in and exhale to rise up. We're going to meet in a comfortable seat. Taking it into a seated twist, left knee bent, right foot outside of left thigh, left arm up, and then twist as you gaze back to your right shoulder for Matsyandrasana, seated twist. Remember to grow tall on that breath in and twist on the exhale. Back to the center, swap the legs around, this time right hand up and take a twist, hold on to the thigh. Look back past your left shoulder, everyone. Well done. Break the pose, come and sit on your bum and then slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Hands underneath your glutes, coming into fish pose, top of the head down towards the earth. Feel your chest vibrating with energy here. All the prana, chi, located right in the heart and throat center. Release the neck. We're now going to come to our final posture. So come to a seated position here on the bum. Squeeze your hands, squeeze your feet, squeeze your face, squeeze, 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 and stick your tongue out <sighs> on the floor. Squeeze your hands, squeeze everything of the body, stick your tongue out. <sighs> Shavasana. Let the process of deep relaxation begin. Feeling each and every part of the body start to calm itself down. If you are working with any injuries today, physical, emotional, mental strain. You can visualize these negativities sinking into the earth, down into the floor. Dharma Mitra says, if you open your heart and become like a child, you will always be blissful and always content. So just take a moment to look deep inside your heart center now. What do you feel?
Start to move your fingers and toes. Maybe rocking the neck from side to side. When you are ready, hug the knees into the chest. Tight little squeeze, maybe a few circles around the knees. And find yourself lying on the right side. Gently pick yourself back up to a comfortable seat. Try and keep the gaze inwards. Notice what the practice has given to you today. What is it about the practice on the mat that gives you a sensation of peace and a little bit more happiness in your life? Hands to the heart. Take a moment to dedicate the fruits of your efforts towards the well-being of all sentient beings. May our actions of body, speech and mind be motivated by kindness and compassion always. Thank you everyone for joining us in today's practice. If you enjoyed the sequence and want to come back for more, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly classes to your inbox. In the meantime, have a wonderful day, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste.